The Schoolock Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community answers questions on everybody's mind right now politically. But I decided to go ahead and explore this scenario that if Trump don't leave, you know, he probably don't have no plans to, you know, get stimulus or not. You know, you don't know what he's tweeting this and that every day. You know, we not partisan. You know, we with him if he giving stimulus we you know we not with them if he not giving stimulus i mean that's basically what you know this channel is about but anyway we not partisan whoever gives stimulus go ahead and give stimulus that's the, but let's just explore this idea i'm gonna pass it to my homeboy james james go ahead and take this away the school lock stimulus lighthouse alert community presents will trump accept defeat and leave the white house yes experts say President may attempt to utilize his power to promote more conservative court visits or environmental deregulations. Donald Trump may never ever yield that he legitimately lost the 2020 election and the United States presidency. That in itself will probably not matter too much, but he might utilize his final months in workplace before Joe Biden takes office in January, 2021 to press the divisive politics that have become his calling card. He may even boycott Biden's inauguration ceremony. However, even if Trump and his colleagues plan a careless, chaotic and vindictive shift of power, it's still abstruse that the one-term president would belligerently barricade himself inside the Oval Office and decline to leave, states Lawrence Douglas, a professor of law, jurisprudence and social idea at Amherst College. I do not see that taking place, says Douglas, whose book will he go? Considers the after-effects of the 2020 election. I think at some time, Donald Trump will submit to beat. After Trump, First shots fired in fight for Republican celebrations future. Find out more. After flirting with the concept of rejecting unfavorable election results for years, Trump has actually stired worries of worst case situations, civil war, a weaponized Supreme Court, and even the end to American democracy. With just 10% of Trump's fans initially thinking Biden won the governmental contest, lots of Americans are also concerned about an outburst of violence, even as the rancorous commander in chief paints a baseless photo of rigged, fraudulent outcomes. I had such a big lead in all of these states late into election night, only to see the leads miraculously vanish as the days passed. Perhaps these leads will return as our legal proceedings move on. Trump tweeted on Friday. In a last-ditch effort for Republicans to keep the executive branch, Trump and his allies have actually already started filing a firestorm of lawsuits around the election. But they've made little headway thus far. If the variety of contested ballots are not greater than the margin, courts are not excited to tear open an election, although judicial examination might in fact resolve a sticking around cloud of illegitimacy around the vote counts, said Jonathan Turley, a teacher at George Washington University Law School. If any of Trump's legal challenges do discover sympathy among Republican lawmakers and federal courts, that might cause an unpleasant, latent environment leading up to 20th of January, when Biden is supposed to take workplace. But it's more probable that Republicans will remain quiet even if Trump continues to hassle and largely declines to work together with Biden's individuals in the interim, states Julian Zelizer, a historian at Princeton University. The problem with that is it simply does not provide the new administration the very best tools, the best details, and the best transition that we would hope for, Zelizer says. But my guess is Biden's currently anticipating that. Even as a lame duck, Trump could strategically require Democrats to oppose executive orders that highlight their party's vulnerabilities ahead of runoff elections in Georgia that will identify who controls the United States Senate, Turley states. If the outgoing administration does lean on executive orders, those can be taken apart by Biden. However, after Democrats spent four years challenging whether Trump might rescind previous President Barack Obama's policies, Turley states, they've developed a precedent of their own making against reversing such orders without long administrative slogs. Trump might use the power of the presidency to push for more conservative court consultations, another tax cut or environmental deregulation steps to advise Republicans of why a lot of Republicans elected him, states Zelizer, even as he exits the White House. Although he lost re-election, he still won more than 70 meters votes, and he could wield substantial authority over his base for several years to come. He will continue to inform tens of countless Americans that the Biden presidency is invalid, that basically the Democrats have committed a coup, Douglas says. That could definitely lead the way for a renewal of Trumpism, if not Trump himself in 2024. Meanwhile, Biden may inherit a divided government that's had a hard time to work together and jeopardize recently shaken by a turbulent shift. He's a good person who genuinely will attempt to join Americans, Douglas states. Now, whether he'll succeed at doing that remains to be seen. 
The Skullak Stimulus Lighthouse Alert community is not Democrat or Republican however we do stand for integrity on either side. We desire, a new beginning for America today, as Joe Biden and Kamala Harris win the US election. The American people have disavowed four years of a thuggish presidency. They have actually picked decency over dysfunction, reality over fiction, fact over lies, and empathy over ruthlessness. They have actually turned down the last four years of ugliness, divisiveness, bigotry and sustained attacks on constitutional democracy. And even as Trump plots legal challenges and levies unproven claims of fraud, it is clear America is carrying on. Now, the real work starts. Getting rid of Trump from the White House is something fixing America is another. Much of the systemic problems that afflict the nation will stay in location as soon as he leaves Pennsylvania Avenue. Two eight-year Democratic presidencies over the last 30 years have not substantially impacted these problems. A stark racial wealth space, school segregation, corrosive inequality, a climate crisis and a democratic deficit at the heart of America's electoral college are however some of the concerns that challenge the new president. With the Trump administration waning, we welcome the opportunity to refocus our journalism on the opportunities that lie ahead for America, the chance to fix a broken healthcare system, to bring back the function of science in federal government, to fix worldwide alliances, and to resolve the destructive racial bias in our schools, criminal justice system and other institutions. We will report on the huge financial shift required to stem environment modification, and we will continue to question the uncontrolled power of corporations and big tech. However we can't do this on our own. We require your support to continue this necessary work. We rely to an ever higher degree on our watchers, both for the moral force to continue doing journalism at a time like this and for the monetary strength to help with that reporting. Our company believe each people is worthy of equivalent access to fact-based news and analysis. We've decided to keep Skellac Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community journalism free for all watchers, despite where they live or what they can afford to pay. This is enabled thanks to the assistance we receive from watchers throughout America and all 50 states. If you can, support Skellac Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community from as low as $1, and it just takes a minute. Thank you.